Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Democracy 3. My name is Aubrey Potato and today we are playing as Australia, trying to turn Australia into an environmentalist haven. We're doing a good job. How have you guys been doing? I've been doing good. Let's play some democracy. Right, okay, so at the end of last episode, there was this little tiny problem of, uh, of brain drain, which has been slightly hindering our GDP and our productivity, which is less than ideal. Mostly, that seemed uh, to be the fault of the CAP CEO pay multiplier, but I think we eliminated that. I'm not sure if we did. Uh, I think we did. Uh, that would be here, wouldn't it? No, doesn't look like we have eliminated it. Um, where is it? Is that this, by any chance? No, that's the Enterprise Investment Scheme. Where is it? Where on earth are you? I do not see it. I do not see it at all. Uh, that is surprising to me, so I don't really know how we can get that down. The CAPS CEO pay multiplier. Um, that's a bit interesting because I I don't know. Yeah, look, so we didn't. We we must not have we must have cancelled it. I cannot remember. It's been a while since I recorded. Please forgive me. Um, let's go to the next turn. See what happens. Um, hopefully it'll be decent. Might not be. Whaling, resume whaling, I don't think it really matters to be honest. We have a small budget deficit. What is our reserves like? Our reserves are pretty good. Holding solid around 500 to 600 billion. That's a nice place to be. It sort of gives us the flexibility. Um, if you see here, the, the global economy is on the way down, but it looks like it's it's bottoming, it's bottoming out, should I say. Um, GDP, I can anticipate falling a little bit further, but then it'll be recovering and, uh, and obviously... It'll be it'll recover in line with uh, with expenditure, so our income will be more than our expenditure. So it's fine, nothing to worry about. That might have come out a little convoluted, but it's fine, nothing to worry about. Thankfully, capitalists are starting to like us a little bit. That is nice to see. How many turns away from the election are we? We're 19 turns away, and the only problem we have is actually uh, is actually financing the country, which is good because that's a pretty easy problem to fix, considering that we have you know billions and billions and billions of savings lined up uh, biohazard outbreak that is a little bit of a bummer and that is going to decrease health by a tiny little smidgen uh, if you recall we also had a biohazard outbreak uh, in in this year as well so uh, so that's that's fine that's not really much of an issue for us um, food price alcohol con consumption tobacco usage that's all right you know we're we're actually we're doing an all right job we are running a bit of a bigger budget deficit now so that is going to be a tad more worrying our GDP is coming down quite sharply now that is not good how's our productivity looking it's looking pretty good it's looking not bad at all Um, what about a technological advantage how close are we from that probably not very probably not very at all let's look at technology yeah that's all right do we have a technological advantage no we don't how can we go about getting that? We probably need to eliminate this, this rare earth crisis thing, but I don't think that'll help too much. Our foreign relations are already maxed out. Um, let's look at this brain drain. That's going back down, and I would anticipate that it would finish either next turn or the turn after that. Uh, well, obviously the turn after that or the turn after that, I mean. Um, what about this? Yeah, that's, that's doing good. It's going to boost tourism a little bit. As you can see, there was a sharp jump when we introduced or increased our military spending. I think that was probably it. Um, that is that is nice, nice place to be. Obviously, you are never going away, are you? Cyclones? No, that's just we're just going to have to deal with that. Water shortage. It did look like we were going to eliminate it there, but we didn't manage to. So that is a big, big bummer. Uh, obviously, the year. There's nothing we can do about the year. Absolutely nothing at all. So that's just that. Uh, that's just one of these things. Average temperature continuing to rise. There's nothing we can do about that, and there never will be, so no point in uh, complaining about it. Food crisis. This is something that we can that we can, uh, we can can do something about. Food stamps are already maxed out. Okay, so the price of food is clearly becoming way too high. Water shortage and the average temperature are becoming bigger and bigger problems. So it looks like we need to get our international trade up hmm wow okay currency strength okay we, we need to get our international trade up that is pretty essential how do we do that trade council 
let's see if we can introduce any other policies. Running a slightly major budget deficit now. I, I have faith that that will recover. It's okay. We've built up the reserves to uh, to stomach the blow, so it shouldn't be too much, too much of a problem. Um, okay, we need economy stuff. We need anything that we can introduce. International trade. Can we boost international trade? Not really. It's not going to be in here. Um, it's probably not going to be in here either. Okay, so there's nothing that we can really do to boost international trade. Um, that's foreign relations, of course. And that... That needs... We need to be boosting international trade. Uh, the Trade Council, I presume, are already fully funding. Yes, we are, of course. That is a the smart decision. Productivity is also near peak. Um, currency strength is, is slightly retracting from that, but there's really not that much we can do about it. Um, so that leaves us with not very many options indeed. So we do need to sort out this food crisis and it's clear we need to do that by lowering the food price. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, perhaps it's it's clearly hurting the poor earnings a lot and it's hurting health, which is not good at all. Um, okay, synthetic meat research, vertical farm subsidies, I've, yeah, we're, we're fully funding all these things. Is there any other farm-related policies that we can we can bump up? Home fabrication, not really. Tax, I doubt it. Alcohol tax. What about health food subsidies? Will that be? Will that work? Will it? I don't know. Will it work? Let's introduce it. See if see if it does work. Health and poor earnings. Well, you know what. Might have been a bit of a waste of political capital, but it was only three anyway, so no big deal. Um, we we need to get it down. We just we need to get the price of food down. Junk food tax. Don't really want to do anything with that. It's not bringing us in any money anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this food crisis is is a big blow for us at the moment. Uh, vertical farming subsidies, yes. Yeah, synthetic meat research, we're full up. We're full, full on you, buddy. Nothing we can really do. International trade is keeping it down. Cyclones is pushing it up. Water shortage and average temperature. Well, all three of those are linked to the year. So there's pretty much nothing we can do about that. Uh, oil price is something that we could probably bring down. Yeah, but I don't really think our oil demand is very high. Yeah, our oil demand is zero. That's good. That's fine. Um, this doesn't increase the price of food. No, or doesn't increase. Doesn't do anything really, to be honest. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Yeah, we're gonna limit agency activity. That is a real bummer. That is a real bummer. And combined with the fact that we, uh, yeah, brain drain has ended. That's good. That's what we expected to happen. Um, unfortunately, we're running a huge budget deficit in the moment, which is a bit worrying. If uh, if our income hasn't increased above our expenditure in the next two or three turns, then I think we're going to have to cut spending a little bit. Uh, obviously, there's nothing we can do about the fact the global economy is in a bad way at the moment. However, we can uh, we can sort of mitigate its impact by reducing spending uh, in our country. So that's that's not too much of a problem. Uh, we're going to appoint a senior judge. Well, who likes us? Liberals like us, and so do patriots. So let's 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 promote a liberal to the position of judge, and let's just continue playing on through. I mean, just keep on going to the. Uh, keep on going through the turns. A corrupt socialist. Wow. Fair enough. A uh, budget deficit of 22 billion. There was a massive recovery there um, in our in our GDP, and it's forecast to be a, another big one next turn. So hopefully, in perhaps this turn or the next turn, we'll be looking at a roughly balanced book, which is nice. That's a good place to be. Price of f food? No, it's not even happening. Uh, is this fully implemented? I think this is fully implemented. Yes, it is. It is fully implemented, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty certain it is. We've already got... We've, we're, doing as, we're doing as much as we can, but there's really nothing to stop the deterioration of our country. It is unfortunate, but hey-ho. Um, 
leave law and change probably. Unemployment is pretty darn low. That's good. That is a good place to be. Unemployment benefit. What is our unemployment benefit actually? That's pretty low as well. That's not too bad. Um, scale this back a bit perhaps. Might reduce unemployment, but it's also gonna not have as a, a big, a, a bi as big as a downward effect on poverty as I would like. Um, but it'll make the capitalists happy with us. Wow, 1.27 billion deficit. That is a good place to be. That is good because it looks like we're uh, next turn, next turn gonna be in 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 the red. Not in the red, in the black. What am I on about? Um, we're in the red at the moment, but we will be uh, in the black. And we are on the black this turn. Fantastic. 207.66 million. It is absolutely tiny, but it is, uh, it is, a, good, it is a good mental step forwards. Um, we've sort of... We've got to that place where we now, we now have a balanced book. That means that we can sort of, you know, not not decrease on our on our on our efforts but sort of let up a little have a little relax about the fact that we uh, we don't need to work quite as hard as we as we did uh, obviously we weren't really working that hard anyway so it's not too much of a problem uh, DNA database uh, prevent the database I mean look at our crime our crime is low 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 so that's nothing to worry about really have nothing to worry about in terms of crime ministerial scandal that's a bit of a bummer but hey ho what is poverty like? Poverty is uh, a little bit of a problem, actually. Hmm. Increases poor? That's not good. This food crisis, yeah, has really bummed people. Not surprisingly. it's uh, It's been a little bit of a bummer. We have a small surplus of 2.21 billion. That's good. We can start sort of rebuilding our uh, our reserves. I mean, what are they floating at now? They're floating at 456 billion. That's not ideal. Uh, we sort of want to be in the 500 to 600 billion region. So we're gonna we're gonna keep trying for that, saving for that. 7.79 billion. It's gonna be a a long process upwards, but we're we're gonna do fine. We're still in recession at the moment, technically. Um, global economy hasn't recovered to pre-crash levels that's fine we'll get there eventually um, I, I do have faith that we will we will sort it out food crisis this is increasing drastically and there's nothing we can do about it nothing at all absolutely nothing we're maxed out on everything you're reducing the food price as much as you can but it's just not quite good enough is it no it's not that's worrying. That's worrying indeed. People smuggling. Allow them to stay. Patriots can take the hit. Liberals can still be a little bit happier with us. That'll be fine. Um, ban animal testing. We're going to ban animal testing, of course, because we want to make Australia into an environmentalist haven. And, you know, for all intents and purposes, I think we've pretty much done just that. I, I just want to put it out there. Even though we are still having extensive problems, these problems are, are nothing like... Um, what what we had the the problems we had at the start in Australia, and um, so that's that's a good place to be. Also, environmentalists freaking love us. They absolutely love us. I mean, look at all these great policies. Okay, so they don't like rare earth metal mining. They don't like synthetic meat research, and they don't like international fusion research. But these are all essential things, and they obviously don't like the cyclones. Well, I don't like the cyclones. Uh, they didn't like the whaling decision. That was probably a bit of a mistake. Whoops. Uh, international fusion research. We're maxed out on you. Awesome. That's actually really cool. But at the same time, our technology is so good that it's bad. I mean, this rare earth crisis is uh, is, is almost exclusively uh, caused by the fact that we've heavily invested in technology. It's not really a problem for us. It just reduces GDP by a little bit and productivity. Really no biggie. Um, our economy is still strong. Our productivity is still high. That is good. Another biohazard outbreak. That's the the second one this video. That's nice. Um, GDP is making a strong and and steady recovery. That is nice. That is good. Uh, budget surplus of 14 billion. That is going to be good for next turn for our reserves. Good place to be. What else? Middle of your term in government, and you know we're dominating as per usual. We have 19 million members. We have 2.6 million activists. You can't really ask for much more, can you? I mean, that's just that's just great. A royal scandal. Ooh, I don't know. Let's criticize the monarch. Why not? Um, you know, 16.8 billion per turn. That's a good place to be. Um, that's a that's a strong position to be in. 
so I'm glad that we are in that position. Um, okay, so I think that'll probably do it for this episode. I'm probably going to end it uh, at the next episode because this series has been dragging on and I sort of want to play some some more Democracy 3, so we're going to play some different campaigns. But uh, but just to reiterate that, next episode will be the last episode of, uh, of Democracy 3 Australia Environmentalist Haven. Yeah, so you've got that to look forward to, I suppose, or to dread, I suppose, if you enjoy the series, which I am enjoying playing it. But you know, we can we can do some other interesting combos, and I'm sure that'll be that'll be nice and fun. So we've got another eight turns to crack uh, crack through next turn, uh, next next session of recording, uh, I should say, and I'm sure that'll be great. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's been Obert Potato. If you've enjoyed, then please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.